Now, today is an important day for Ukraine. The country marks 31 years of independence from the Soviet Union, but celebrations will be muted. Curfew has been imposed and security heightened as Ukraine marks six months since Russia began its invasion. Now, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky warned on Tuesday of the possibility that Moscow could launch brutal strikes to mar the occasion. Public gatherings have been banned in the capital, Kiev. A hard curfew has been imposed in the eastern city of Kharkiv as well. Many government officials have been ordered to work from home. Listen in to the warning issued by the president. Our armed forces, our intelligence community, security forces will do everything to protect people as far as it is possible. And we are sure to retaliate against any form of Russian terror. But please tomorrow be sure to follow security rules. Please respect the curfew. Act on the air raid alarm signals. Pay attention to official announcements. And remember, together we all have to get to our victory. Now, Ukraine remains determined than ever to remain outside the control of Moscow. Ukraine broke free of the Soviet Union in August 1991 after an overwhelming majority of Ukrainians voted in a referendum to declare independence. For security reasons, Zelensky has not disclosed the details of how the government will mark the public holiday. But it is understood that people like workers from a wide variety of fields like emergency services, workers and railway personnel will be rewarded. But the fighting continues. Ukrainian forces shelled a government building in the Donetsk region on Tuesday. The area is controlled by pro-Russian separatists. The central hotel in Donetsk was also hit on Tuesday and guests had to be evacuated. Russian officials say three people were killed. The U.S. Embassy in Kiev has also warned of the fighting escalating in the coming months and has once again urged U.S. citizens to leave if they can. This comes as the United States is set to announce yet another security assistance package for Ukraine. It's said to be worth about $3 billion. The single largest tranche of military aid to Kiev since the war began. The package uses funds from Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative passed by the Congress, which allows the government to procure weapons from the industry rather than taking weapons from existing U.S. stocks. But under this system, weapons could take months to arrive in Ukraine. Since weapons companies to first procure them have to first procure them, Washington has already provided 10.6 billion in military assistance to Ukraine since February. As Russia's war on Ukraine continues, U.S. security assistance is shifting to a longer term uh, campaign, which likely will keep American troops longer in Europe. The U.S. will announce an additional roughly three billion dollars in aid to train and equip Ukrainian forces to fight for years to come. The announcement comes as the war hits its six month mark and also as Ukraine celebrates its independence day. The money is expected to fund contracts for drones, weapons and other equipment that may not even hit the battlefield for a couple of years. To date, the United States has provided Ukraine with about $10.6 billion in military aid. This is since the beginning of the Biden administration, including 19 packages of weapons taken directly from the U.S. Defense Department stocks since August 2021. Now, over the past six months, thousands have died. Over a third of Ukraine's 41 million people have been displaced from their homes. Whole cities have been destroyed, but the war itself is largely at a standstill. Apart from Crimea, Russian forces control areas of the south and large chunks of eastern Donbass region. Peace talks have broken down and there have been no signs that negotiations will restart anytime soon. Now, for more on this, we were earlier joined by William Courtney, who is an international affairs expert. This is what he had to say. Let's listen in. The last six months have been a pretty big disappointment for Russia. Uh, Russia, at first, uh, tried to seize Ukraine's three largest cities, Kiev, Kharkiv, and Odessa. It has failed to seize any of those three cities. Uh, Russia thought that Ukrainian forces would not fight effectively. As it turns out, they have fought quite courageously. Russia probably thought the West was 
uh, divided or distracted and would not provide so much support to Ukraine. The West provided enormous uh, military and economic support uh, to Ukraine. Russia does have control of about 20% of Ukraine's territory, uh, but Russia can't seem to go any further, and now the Ukrainians are likely to mount uh, counteroffensives, uh, particularly down in the south. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.